just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. Did Lieutenant Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. They're only dangerous because you made them dangerous. Armed guards on every street corner? It's insane, Harvey. I beg to differ. With the children of Arkham sneaking around everywhere, those armed guards are the only thing keeping people safe. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Is that you, Harvey? You to Harvey? You sound insane. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Damn. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selena. We're done talking. What's going on here? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. You got a warrant, I bitch? Oh my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Damn, son. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? I am tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over and then back up again just to make sure it did the job! Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me. Yeah, I filmed the whole thing. <sighs> they should lock you up. Oh, God. I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag. Next one won't be a warning shot. All right. Now, the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well funded, hmm? And well armed? What do you say? I'd say you could go fuck yourself. They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? The mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. 
Kate, he's the problem, not us! Back up, back up, people! Bruce! Hey! Your father committed innocent people to Arkham and made sure they stay there for the rest hey, of their keep lives! Keep back if you know what's good for you! Ram the barricade! <laughs> this isn't the Batmobile! Just do it, Alfred! Uh, had to get the hell out of there. No, don't put me in a silly now. I won't get late anymore. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice. Throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? You don't need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. Damn it, Celia. Did you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. Uh, yeah. He's dangerous. You understand, Harvey, don't well, you? Harvey ain't okay, going to. Don't you think you're being just a little overdramatic? Harvey wouldn't kill you. No. Look what he's done to you. And you're the type of person who shows up in headlines. He could have me killed, and no one would ever know. So where are you gonna go? I got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Then help me. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with... all of this. Ah, uh, damn it. How else am I gonna get laid? I should probably stop thinking about that. About concerning about more important stuff. Like what's going on with Arkham? Not Arkham, but I'm Gotham. Fine, okay. Harvey. I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. Bruce, you look awful. He's had a very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Bell's drug. I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Let's start with the DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the bat computer. I'll make the preparations. This is the refined sample of the drug taken <gasps> from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. It's a hiccup right there. All right, time to check my DNA. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Hmm. That should do it. Should.
If only it were this easy in the real this world. to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Oh. I'm me again. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work. I feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. She's a monster. To do what she did. She has no sense of morality. She was playing me the entire time. Breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? No. No offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. No, I absolutely don't trust him. The man is psychotic. Wonderful. Well, let's try to steer clear of him in the future, shall we? <laughs> I doubt that's going to happen. If I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Wouldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a scope grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you. It's going to be great. The least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. Bruce. Yeah. yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. Yeah, Batman right through the front door. No one will suspect it. Well, it's not like you could come down the chimney. It's not like Batman and Santa Claus. I'm inside the Vale House. It'd be great if Batman was Santa Claus. Instead of, like, giving coal to, like, the bad people, he just, like, snaps their necks. I don't think Batman would do that. Oh, shit. Vicky killed her own parents, didn't she? Or it could have been the drug. Damn it. Man, I'm getting really hungry. I've been sitting here for, like, well, I've been, damn, I've been sitting here for over two hours now. Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Ugh. Her eyes look fucked up. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes, but this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Dude, how fucking stupid are people to, like, leave that around? Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Connect. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Recent family photo? Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. 
Not going to mention that he's black, Bruce. What's this? It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Distraction, duh. Alfred found Mr. Bale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Really? No voice acting? Just gonna give me the... Nah, that can't be. It's a letter from Gotham Social Services about a monthly stipend for foster parents. Vicky's a bit old for that, isn't she? It's not for Vicky. They have a boy. This must be Vicky shortly after she was adopted. I guess I could go upstairs. No, okay. Well, what else is there? Oh. Oh, what's that? Hair. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle, probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. The knife. Wait, where's the knife? Oh, don't give me that shit. Here's Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Hmm. Well, uh, I feel like I'm missing more to this. Wait, what's this? Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. The belt. She could have swung with the belt and that could have hit the wall. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vell fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. 
nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Viggy attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house. Going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Clear. Nothing here. Anything? No. Nope. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. Hey, little black boy. My name Evan. What's your name? It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. It's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. Something bad happened out here. I know it might be scary, but I need your help. Can you do that? Okay. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs? Fighting the police? I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because they're hidden here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Get down. <laughs> And that caught me off guard. Well, hello, Batman. What a <laughs> pleasure to see you. Thank you. Let me guess. You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little back traps all over the city. But I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out to the open. <laughs> Bad aiming on them. Ah, oh, come on. Good dro drone. The hell? <laughs> oh, shit. Safe, were you wounded? I'm okay. <gasps> they're, they're dead. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. You don't know how sorry. I no. promise I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. 
that man. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. I thought you quit. Save me. Hell, I thought she, is that Stanley in that picture over there? That looks exactly Jesus. like Stanley. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? He lives that here. That boy was the Vale's adopted son. According to the papers I found, they were receiving a pretty significant stipend. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Man. Hey, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not any more, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. Don't tell me he's linked to this too. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. <laughs> That's how you do it. Home sweet home. Dude, as soon as this episode is over, I'm getting me something to eat. I am starving like a son of a gun. And so your bat stunner just didn't work? It's Wayne That's Tech, man. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. If not for Lucius's strobe grenade, I'm not sure what I would have done. Lucius, meet me at the back computer. There's something I want to talk to you about. Be right there. Let's get a closer look at you. Yeah. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. It's because it was a Wayne Tech drone. Someone used the back door to get a hold of the files and shit everything looks functional it should have worked EMP functionality is all in the green it's white it doesn't make any sense dude dude I'm I'm like what 17 and you're Batman this and I know strange. this this microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal but it shouldn't be like the ones you shut down in the GCPD something like that that Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. Damn it, Lucius. Here, what's up? Take a look at this. Oh, God. Someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. I am so sorry, Bruce. If only I'd been at Wayne Enterprises. Maybe there was something I could have done. Oh, what a mess. That sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Cut yourself some slack, Lucius. There's no way you could have known. I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? Oh, never mind. Well, but if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls, uh, but if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to him. We need to turn the tables on this motherfucker. I'm tired of being on the defensive. Why don't we attack him instead? I'm not sure, but I can certainly see what I can do. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, uh Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What is it? Reports of children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. Harvey is scared. 
paranoid, but he clearly views Batman in a favorable light. Then again, maybe talking to an old friend is what he needs. I feel like I need to go as Batman on this one. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react by the way? I have to. I'm going as Batman. I can't. I don't trust Harvey anymore. Tonight, he betrayed me. Batman saves Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. Even Alfred's agreeing with me on this one. Whew.